targeting cancer stem cells. Protecting DNA doesn't even scratch the surface of what broccoli and broccoli sprouts appear capable of. Here's a sampling published in just one random month. Anti-carcinogenic, anti-inflammatory. Another anti-inflammatory may protect against colorectal cancer, help fight cervical cancer, may protect against sunburn, for goodness sake, and protect cartilage. And that's just one month in the medical journals. What's the catch? There has to be a downside. Well, in Turkey recently, a report of liver toxicity thought due to juiced broccoli. 56-year-old woman drinking about three and a half cups of pure broccoli juice a day for a month. A commentator balked at the assumption that the broccoli juice per se was responsible for liver toxicity, suggesting that a more likely possibility is that the pesticide residue levels in such a large daily quantity of the vegetable were such that they adversely affected her liver cells. Three and a half cups of juice is equivalent to eating about 18 cups of broccoli a day. 18 cups a day for four weeks, that's 500 cups of broccoli. Even if it were organic broccoli, 500 cups a month is a lot of broccoli. This was just a case report. Thankfully, formal human toxicity studies have been done. Here, for example, they gave some volunteers a week of broccoli sprout extract, equaling the sulforaphane content of about two dozen cups of broccoli a day, and no problems were found.